Okay, so it is Saturday morning. Oh no, it's actually Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Time flies. Uh, and I'm back up at the garage. And what I'm doing this weekend, hopefully, um, what's going on with my collar, um, is I'm going to fill all of the, uh, not fill, but I'm going to coat the inside of the cavities with cavity wax. Um, so I'm just sort of blasting that out with air and hoovering in there and stuff. Uh, both sides, front, back, and then, because I've prepared all this underside yet again, I'm going to put the seam sealant on, and then when that's dry, I'm going to put the stone chip on. So that is the plan for this weekend. I've just spent quite a lot of time, actually, you can see it all at the back there, um, going through all those uh, plated nuts and bolts and fittings and pairing them up with the bits that they were taken off of just to check that whether anything was missing. And it all looks pretty much fine. It all looks like it's there. Uh, so although the plating did cost a huge amount of money, um, I don't know if it's more expensive over here uh, or not. I didn't realize it's quite so expensive. So all of those uh, parts that I got plated um, were all cleaned up, all sandblasted, all by hand. I didn't realize it was all done by hand, you see. Um, I thought it went into a vat of acid, which ate away the rust, and then <laughs> it was uh, plated. But anyway, it's clearly not like that. Um, it's also including the, um, the big box of parts, which you remember from a couple of months back, which I had powder coated, cleaned up and powder coated. Um, yes, there was a huge amount of work, but currently the, uh, the estimate stands at uh, 880 euros. So I must be very honest, I was really shocked when I got that uh, information over the phone yesterday, because I was talking to the plater and I was saying, yeah, I've got all the parts, thanks very much. Um, I've got some more bits. And he said, well, yeah, but Joel, just bear in mind that we're at 880 euros already. So I was like, holy crap. Um, so that's, yeah, that's quite a lot of money. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I'm going to crack on with this, get the wax in. Um, what I'm going to do with the wax is uh, just turn the camera around. This is the wax, which is approved Porsche wax, which is uh, apparently what, what they use uh, in production from Wirt or Worth. Um, and uh, I've got the spray gun here. I've got a long fitting made up, which goes all the length of the sills, but I can access either end. We made that up yesterday. That's the fitting and that's the nozzle just there. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in a bucket of hot water so it's really runny. So it goes into all the nuts, nooks and crannies and then and then do the uh, the cavity wax. So that's next. OK, so if I'm absolutely honest, I'm, uh, it's not that easy with this wax, to be honest. Um, basically, I had quite a long hose made up, which uh, which had like the spreader at the end, which actually comes with the kit. But the, uh, the, the hose is just not very long. And if you're trying to get it down into the sills, then it's got to be like two meters or you do one meter and one meter anyway. I heated the wax up in a nice uh, hot bucket of water and it was really like, like quite like water, but it's still, I don't know, it still just did not work at all. It just, basically what happened is the pressure built up in the, in the canister here and came out of the safety valve here at the top, that one just there, um, and sort of went all over the floor. So it's a bit of a disaster. So I don't know if I haven't got the wax hot enough. Um, Maybe I've got too much pressure in my um, compressor. I think it's at 10, so I'm going to turn it down to 6. Uh, but when I took this, um, you know, the hose off and just used, used this, it worked absolutely fine. But of course, you go through a litre of wax, which is bloody expensive, within a minute. Um, so I obviously got some in here. Oh, I ran out by the time I got there. Um, I blasted it down here. And when you... I don't know if you can but it was running out by the time I got down here as well but um, obviously when you when you just use the you know the gun without the um, you know without the hose then loads of wax comes out which is really good because it just coats it all um, so you can see in here it's just coated really nicely but this is interesting here you have to be very careful with this big plug here because up in here um, I don't know if I can get the yeah here you go look I can get the camera in there there's the seat belt um, fitting right there so you got to be you can see I've splashed a little bit and that was just luck really 
because that's what you want, that really good covering, but obviously it only goes as far as, you know, a few inches because obviously you need the hose and this is exactly what you want, this is ideal, but you know, you want it all over the place really and it doesn't really go much further down there either. You can see there at the bottom, it hasn't really got the bottom of the sill. But if you, anybody else is doing that, be careful going up here because that is where the, um, the seat belt is. Okay guys, so I'm pretty much done with the wax, or at least I've used all my wax. I could probably carry on for quite a while. Um, but I've basically just covered it everywhere I can in this rear cross member. Mm, bit in there, could really do with more to be honest. All in there, down in that one too. And then literally, all the way in there. Um, I found, in there as well, no, I can't see anything. I found that putting the compressor to six bar uh, works, it works. Uh, 10 bar doesn't work at all, it's far too much. So you gotta be careful how much uh, pressure you use on that. So six bar is fine. Um, but I've gone down into there. So just to give you an idea how much you can see, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. I mean, essentially, you know. Yeah. compressor. Handy, but very loud. Um, let's have a look. Can you see in there? Not really, huh? Yeah, there you go. So, not too bad coverage. Mm, that's not great there. But you know, it's 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 not bad. It's not bad. Hopefully, it'll sort of work its way into the into the nooks and crannies. Otherwise, I did it all up in in all of these holes under here. I just coated as much as I could, going up all under there. And I used a longer um, longer uh, pipe uh, to go all the way through as best I could. You can see it's all dripping down in there now. But ideally you'd have that sort of coverage all the way throughout the car, but uh, I can't get it with the stuff that I've got. I mean, it's, it's better than it was before. I've also done all in here Although that coverage is not brilliant, but um, I can't even tell whether that's covered. You can probably see more than I can. Uh, there is wax in there and literally everywhere, all in there, all up here, all in the holes that I can get to all the cavities I can find. I also put the, um, the pipe up into here, which then carries it all the way to the front uh, chassis arm or chassis rail back here. Um, so yeah. I've got to go around and clean it off a little bit now. Uh, but it's going to be, it would be handy to have another carton because when I put these um, bungs back in, it'd be good to squirt them with the wax as well so they can uh, so they can seal properly. But I'm pretty much done now. Okay, so I've just tied it up under here a little bit, pushed all the wax back in where it belongs, just like that. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to start on the seam sealant. So the seam sealant I've got is the same stuff as I'm using for the stone chip. Uh, so I'm just gonna paint some of that on now. Seam sealant, I don't know how much you can see, probably just the back of my head, but it stinks like hell. <laughs> and I'm literally just putting it along the seams um, because the stone chip will, will essentially do the rest of what I need. Um, and it also goes dry relatively quickly as well. So. I've heated it up in a um, in a bucket of water, and that sort of made it nice and loose um, because it's obviously where the car gets the most corrosion or is expelled. But I'm afraid I can't stop <laughs> from itself. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off because you probably can't see anything other than my back. Okay, I've just been going around putting the plugs in because what I'm going to do is put the seam sealant over the plugs to seal them all up. Done that one and that one there. Now, let's do this last one. I push them in and then turn them just to make sure they're in. Uh, there's one still up there. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Where else? Oh, that one's in already. Okay. I've got all the seam sealant done. I'm pretty sure anyway. I'm not going to go too mad with it. Just literally put it on where the seams are. Um, all around there, all through there. And then 
bits up here as well. There are some places where I've taken it back, the original seam sealant, uh, where I don't think it needs seam sealant, it just needs stone chip to be honest. So I'm gonna leave that here as well. I'm just gonna stone chip that all the way around there. I'm not gonna put any on inside the arches here on the lip, behind the lip, because you know, it doesn't need it. It just needs stone chip all the way along here as well. I'm gonna leave that to dry for a nice long time. Make sure it's absolutely dry. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna call it a day now. Um, I've got as far as I can for today, really. Um, I've, uh, let me turn the camera around, hang on. So I have done all of the seam sealant, as I said. I've covered things up again, uh, taped off the uh, bolts and stuff and the studs. Uh, I'm going to make some kind of a canopy again here tomorrow, um, but I'm just doing, well, sort of localized, localized stone chip, really. Um, I'm wondering whether I actually need to sort of do that again here, but we'll see. The um, the spray shop said they would do that actually. I would just do to here, and then they would do everything else outside. Um, but yeah, there's in the wheel arches. There's quite a lot of stone chip to be done um, up through there. What's that? Oh. And towards the back there, and I'll probably run across here as well. So clean that wax off. This isn't rust, it's that rust converter. Oh, loads of wax on it, look at that. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I'll just run across the back with stone chip there as well. Uh, there's a little bit here that I did. I took that down, I didn't really like that. So um, I'll put a bit of stone chip on there and then color that in. Um, also, I took it down a little bit here because the stone chip was put on so thickly it started to sort of um, run so i just took that down with the angle grinder very lightly of course and i'll just i'll just paint that there's no point putting any more stone chip on it so it's looking pretty good i've started to put the rubber bungs back in and everywhere i've go been going i've been taking the wax out of this and putting it on the brake lines and all the fittings up here up here and also around the um around the rubber bungs and it's starting to come back together I don't know what I've done with the rubber bungs for up here because there are quite a few of them, but I'm sure I'll find them at some point. I'm quite pleased that I managed to get all of the, um, the wax in here too.